Hey guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And this is week three of Let's Write a Book. And today's discussion is going to be about writer's block, which I'm claiming to ha have, but I'm really going to contradict myself as this video goes. But I really wanted to talk about writer's block because I think it's something that as all writers, people that write, we use that as an excuse and I think it's just such bullshit. And it's interesting to me because there are so many writers that like constantly put out books and you're like, how do they just stay like in the flow? And one of the biggest, I can't do that thing that Alyssa Edwards does. But anyway, my husband can do it. One of the things that uh, people that or people ask me all the time, like, what's your best piece of writing advice? And I'm like, write, 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 no matter what it is, just write. And then the second thing, <laughs> this <laughs> The second thing is that you should, as soon as you finish one book and finish editing it, start your next book. Don't stop. Don't take a break. I took a break, and that break, which I thought would be a month, ended up being two years, you guys. So I wish I had never, never done that. Like, it was the biggest mistake I ever made in my entire life. The same idea that I'm working on right now is the same idea I was working on two years ago. You know, it's like it was ridiculous that I stopped. I never should have. I'd have had six books done by then. And in fact, there was a point because... I'm a very fast writer. There was a point that I was like, I'm going to write three books a year. And what I'm going to do is January, February, write, <laughs> March, edit, April, break, May, June, write, July, edit, August, break, September, October, write, November, edit, December, break. You guys, three books in a year, and that gives me two months to write a book, and that's simple. I could have totally done it. Have I stuck to it? Absolutely not. So that's my plan for 2017. Why start now what you can do in 2017? I mean, there's going to be a new president. I mean, I'm so excited. So anyway, and I can't wait till she's in office. But anyway, no. <laughs> I'm like subtly getting in my like, I'm so funny because like somebody like on Twitter like included me in this tweet. And it was like um, this really like negative political comment. And I was like, do you watch my channel at all? I mean, obviously you can kind of figure out like where I stand. But anyway, this is not about that. So I apologize. This is about writing. So for the last week, you guys, okay, first of all, you know that these videos are away from me. They're kind of vlogging, kind of talking about how to write a book. But it's also mostly for me to hold myself accountable with my writing so that I actually have something done before this year is over. Because in 2017, my plan is to do what I just told you and write three books a year. And I think that's totally manageable for me because I want to be a full-time writer at some point. Um, and so, excuse me, um, I, to be completely honest, <laughs> I'm choking on my words, to be completely honest and hold myself accountable, I haven't written one damn word in the last week. And I can make 50 excuses for it, but the reality is, you guys, I A, haven't just felt like writing. Like, I A... <laughs> I haven't felt like writing. Like, I am so, I'm like reading so much. And then I just started Dead of Summer last night, the series, and I got so into it. I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this whole thing in like two days. And um, there's all these new TV shows, Fear of Walking Dead is coming back, <laughs> Big Brother. Like, you guys, I'm so making 50 excuses for not, why not to write. And I think that's partly what writer's block is. Like, when we talk about writer's block, which I think is a bullshit term, honestly, I don't think there's any such thing. Um, it's making excuses or causing distractions so that we don't want to write. Like, it's not, oh, I just don't have any ideas to write. Well, then you're not a writer because you're, what are you writing, right? And it was interesting because years ago, I interviewed, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Charlene Harris that writes the Sookie Stackhouse novels that inspired True Blood. We interviewed her for our website. And she, like, legit, you guys, has, like, a house behind her house, like, with an office, like, nook, that she, like makes the kids breakfast, goes out to, or like sends them off to school and then goes out to her writing office and like literally like writes from like all day. Like that's her job, right? Have you ever seen how many books this woman puts out? She puts out a lot of books. And then the other day somebody was commenting about Brandon Sanderson, who I don't read, but they were talking about um, that Brandon Sanderson puts out so many books. And you guys, it's like I see constant books that come out from Brandon Sanderson. And I mean, and then there's James Patterson, but he doesn't write his books. So, I mean, I could put out a lot of books too if I wasn't even writing my own damn books. But anyway, so yeah. So I'm like, how, I'm a fast writer, so I could put out a lot of books. What is my writer's block? Okay, so I have all these things I want to do instead of write. Okay, well, the reality is, 
when I asked her and I, I said, what is writer's block? She said, I don't believe in writer's block. She said, I think writer's block is being afraid to write what you know you need to write. Okay, being afraid to incorporate into a character or a storyline something that you know you need to tell. And I was like, oh my God, I think that's so true. And in my last book, I think that once I got over the hump, that the book was not just a love story, but it was really about grieving. And I was still grieving my mother's death. I think that once I got into it and was like, okay, this is a cathartic process for me, that I was able to tell the story very quickly. You know, it's just like boom, boom, boom. Um, so I think that will be the thing with the next story because the next story has a lot of personal pieces of myself in it as well. Um, and I think the other thing is the book I'm writing now is about a girl, teenage girl. She's 16. Um, she gets out of a drug treatment program, ranch, and comes back home and she falls very quickly back into her old behavior and she meets this kid that happens to be gay and they become best friends and there's this mystery that's woven in between it, and, but it's also like their coming of age story. Um, and so there's a lot, it's a lot deeper than that, you guys. I'm keeping it very vague. But um, I think that I have known in my career and in just in my life and there are so many girls like her that I'm like basing it on like five or six different girls. And similarly, I'm basing him on like five or six different guys. And there's so much of myself woven into these characters that I think that in a way, I'm kind of afraid to look at the mirror and just deal with those things, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not somebody that doesn't tell on myself or tell my own truth. Like, I have no problem doing that. But sometimes I'm really afraid to just kind of like sit there and go, okay, Peter, like it's time to deal with this shit. You know, like let's clear out the elephant in the room. And I think that's really what's going to happen in this book, you know, is that I'm going to have to come to terms with what I'm writing into these characters. And I think I'm ready to do that, but I think I'm making all these excuses for why I can't. So that's number one is that I think there are some things that I don't really want to write into this book that I know I have to, to make this book true, if that makes sense. Um... And it's really about family things, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. Um, my last book didn't really have aspects of my family in it so much. A lot of people were like, was your mom and dad like this or whatever. Even my dad was like, you based his dad off me. I was like, no, I really didn't. But the job, but that's it. But this book has a lot of my family woven into it and my extended family and things like that. And it's not like facts. So, when people later see this video once they read the book and are like, oh, you're talking about this, this, and this. No, you guys, I'm very ambiguous with this next book. It's just that I think that there are a lot of like perspectives on how they look at the world that maybe like, okay, so the main character, like what she, like her main driving force is very similar to how I was at 17, 18. And that is, what's the point? What's the point? And of all of this, like, is there a point to this or why am I even here? And the boy she meets is very opposite of that. He's very hope filled and shouldn't be there. He doesn't have a lot to be hopeful about. And so it's kind of him teaching her and her teaching him. And so anyway, I think all of my life I've been conflicted back and forth between what's the point and there's a lot, there's a lot of points, okay? There's a lot of reasons to be here. Life is awesome. Life is amazing. What's the point? And I think it's an inner struggle for me and I'm afraid to write the book because I don't know where I'll go. Does that make sense? I'm sure some of you guys relate to that out there. So anyway, I just need, the truth, truth of the matter is, I need to sit my ass down over there at the computer. See? L. I need to sit down, left, L. I need to sit down and just tell my story. I mean, that's it, right? Like, and I love in movies when they show like writer's block and it's, they show writer's block and it's like they just showed somebody sitting at the computer like this. <laughs> I guess I should raise up. Like this. And they're like looking at the screen and they're like the. And like the is just like bleep, 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 bleep. You guys, that is not writer's block. I mean, writer's block is not, not being willing to commit to what you want to write because you're afraid it won't be good enough. I think that's one part of it. And the second part of it, I think, is that you're afraid to tell the story that you know that you need to tell. You know, and I think those two pieces are writer's block. And once you, so really your block is yourself being afraid to just put the damn words down on the page and just do it, right? Because it could be total crap, but I read total crap all the time, you guys. I read books all the time that I'm like, why the hell is that book published, you know? So yeah, I think that's it. And I was going to read you guys a little quote, but I don't think I'm going to. 
So anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Do you guys experience writer's uh, block? Do you think it's bullshit like I do? Um, I'm Next week, I'm not going to promise anything, but I hope that I will sit down and have some words written because the sad thing is, is that so many people are commenting or emailing me or tweeting me, oh, I have 20,000 words written or I have 15,000 words written. Thank you so much for your video. Um, like you're really inspiring me with these and I'm really inspiring you because I'm not writing a damn word and what you're really doing is making me feel like shit because I'm like, hell, Peter, you're the one making the damn videos and you aren't even writing. And it'll be like week eight and I'll be like, well, I really don't have anything written and we're done with our book writing class. So next week, I hope to have my ass have sat down at that table and written something. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna make sure that for an hour tonight, I at least just sit there for an hour and have something done. So that's my promise to myself. Peter, the promise to yourself that you're making is that you will write for one hour today, all right? All right, you guys, follow me on all my social media. If you have questions about writing or books to read or anything bookish or anything about the world, uh, just let me know in the comment section below or tweet it to me or Facebook it to me or whatever, you guys. I'm on every social media under Peter Likes Books or Peter Mon, M-O-N-N, you can find me both places. And if you like this video, please like it in the like button down below somewhere, like in this section. <laughs> and um, hit the subscribe button. I mean, why not? It's free, you guys. And there's not a lot free in the world. So I'm just saying. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.